Hey, what's up everybody? Here we are on a first episode of Awesome Games That You Never Played. And I just want to start doing a few series about different games that I've tried out, I've played, and I really love that I feel like really didn't get enough support. So today's contestant, or guest, I guess you could say, is going to be a good old game called Tokyo Mirage Sessions FE. Now, this game, and if you can see on my thing back there, I have the special edition over there too, so yeah. Anyways, this game was something that came on the Wii U towards the very end of the life cycle. Um, I did push for it hard on my channel, I did an um, unboxing, I talked about it, did a nice little um, impressions video and everything about the game, but this game, when it was announced, it was just a mystery product project between Shin Megami Tensei and Fire Emblem. So it was some kind of crossover between those two games. Um, what this ended up being was Nintendo's answer to Persona. So these two games are very, very, very similar in so many ways. But so many people have just written this off as this little piece of crap that's on the Wii U, that trash system that nobody likes. So why am I going to give this any of, any of my time? It's just weeaboo trash with kids who are singing and acting and there's no personas and blah 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 blah. It's trash, it's garbage, why, 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 why? Take a step back and actually look at what this game is offering. So. First off, let me let me let me talk about uh, let me talk about this for a little bit. Persona 5. The first uh, Shin Megami Tensei game that I did play was actually Persona 4 Golden on my uh, PS Vita, um, and then I played this, and I have Persona 3 on the Vita as well, and I also have some Digital Devil Saga, and I think Shin Megami Tensei 4, and um, something else on the 3DS. I can't remember what it is, but anyways, um, Persona is a game where you follow high school students and pretty much let me look at the back of this a group of high school students are out to reform Tokyo society troubled by the deception and hypocrisy all around them these phantom thieves will, st will steal into the hearts of people and confront the problems from ins with inside some of the features spend the days as a normal student go to school hang out with friends hold a part-time job after school, enter palaces of people's hearts the, and the root out uh, the evil within. Your bonds, uh, your bonds are your powers as confidants provide your strength and aid in battle and beyond. So basically, this is a game where you are a high school student and you go, you actually go to class. You actually take tests. You have to hang out with friends. You go on dates. You, have, you get a part-time job and stuff like that on this game in Japan you know it's just going through a Japanese life well the life of a Japanese um, high school student and in doing this it's very big in uh, character development and the relationships of the, stu of, of the students and them becoming good friends and having those bonds of friendship which um, makes them stronger in battle so it's just really cool to do that and I never thought it would be something that I'd really be interested in but the character development that was uh, displayed in Persona and then just the story and the kind of heavy things that are being talked about in the um, in the stories like wow this is pretty pretty deep they they delve into sexuality they delve into um, like sexual abuse physical abuse stuff like that all of these things very mature themes are in this title so and it's just a very cool and different spin on what you usually see in persona i love the persona series and i can't help i i just i i, I love it I, I just want more you know and persona 5 persona 4 all of them great games why am i talking about that game when i'm supposed to be talking about this well let me tell you about this game in this game, you follow a high school student. Hmm. Okay, follow a high high school student that um, is friends with another student who wants to be a singer. So she gets an opportunity to be a singer and becomes an idol and gets um, on with a record label. 
and then they meet a whole lot of different people who are also high school students and they form bonds with each other and the way they form bonds is a little bit different you don't actually go hang out and stuff quite as much there are things where you do that but for the most part you getting your bonds with people on here it's like okay Subasa has a photo shoot and you want to go work with her on that photo shoot and try to help her through it so in order to get through that photo shoot she might have try and be trying to figure out certain poses or something so she needs to go into the whatever world I forgot what it's called because I haven't played this game in like a year but they have to go into the other world to see what's going on and maybe check a statue somewhere to get a pose or something I'm just making up something right now it's not exactly what it is but once she gets that done she goes goes and does the photo shoot and is really good and she's happy that uh, the main character I forgot his name as well she's happy that he helped her and everything and they form a bond this game also has the great character development of these uh, these students, these people that are in this um, this record label. They have actors, they have singers, and it's just it's it's different. It's a very different take on uh, like the persona type stuff, but it still works. And then they um, meld in the Fire Emblem characters. How this works is in Persona. Um, it's called Persona because it's talking about the inner you, your inner self, and that is displayed by what is called your persona. And the personas give you strength once you confront your inner demons, basically. They give you strength to fight and do what you need to do. On this one, um, it's all about performance and... Um, instead of personas, they have the characters from Fire Emblem. So you got Krom, you got Tiki, you got Tharja, a lot of people like that coming up to be basically their personas or their, um, their mirages. So in the same way that personas give them strength in Persona, mirages give them strength in here. And all of their attacks and everything come from their mirage. In order for them to have a sword, it's basically Krom turns into a sword and is being used by the main guy and in this universe it's all about the performers so it's about the actors and the singers and everything and they are the ones who have these special powers through their mirages and the it's just such a different take and if you look past the Japanese weeaboo anime blah 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 it's really a good story. It also tackles some pretty heavy stuff. It tackles some racism. It tackles um, a little bit of... Um, with photo shoot, I know one thing is people who are objectifying women and stuff like that. It, it does tackle on some things in this game. And it's a very good game. And let's get to the battle system. The battle system on here does keep up with the um, same uh, weaknesses and strengths and the spell names and everything they are all present in this game but um, the difference here where in Persona if you use a special attack on somebody like say you use um, a thunder attack on something that's weak against thunder they immediately pass out and you get an extra turn on here you um, you you start off what is called a session and if somebody has a session I guess you can say like a session a jam session or something since a lot of them are musicians or whatever but um, you start a session and let's say I started off with a lightning attack and then a lightning will change to somebody else coming in and hitting with their spear and then someone comes in with a bow and arrow and then someone else chains in with a fire spell and then someone else chains in with this it's all about building up chains and knowing what the weaknesses are and as the game continues you do some of these performances and things and they learn new songs and learn new techniques from different performers who are more experienced sometimes they might break into song in the middle of a freaking battle and in the song while they're singing and stuff they end up doing damage and hurting or they end up healing the party or they might do something where it's just it's so crazy and wacky and weird but it works and this game was just overlooked for multiple reasons on the on the Wii U for one like I said because I mean look at it it looks like 
some kind of anime. I'm not even an anime person, but it looks like a very big anime. And that that's really what it is. It, it goes off of that culture. But it is a good game. If you like Persona, you will like Tokyo Mirage Sessions. It is a very good game. If you own a Wii U, you owe it to yourself to get it. It's a long, robust story. No, it's not as hard as a Persona game, but Persona honestly isn't that hard to be real with you. But it's not its not super hard, and it doesn't quite get into the heavy, heavy, heavy subject matters that Persona does, but it is still a very good game, a good story, fun battle system, the music on point, and I just feel like a lot of people missed out on it. I hope that maybe they'll uh, bring this and port it over to the Switch. I would definitely support it again. It's a wonderful game to have. And like I said, if you have a Wii U, like seriously, go check this game out. You owe it to yourself if you are an RPG fan, because let's be honest, the Wii U didn't have very many JRPGs. This one, you will not go wrong. Get over the cutesiness of it. Get over it. Don't let the trailers fool you. It is a very good, solid game. Alright, well that's all I've got for you guys on this. Please let me know if you enjoyed this and if you want me to do more of these videos. Hit me down in the comments, tell me what you think about this game. Do you think that it does really work and is very similar to Persona? Let me know. Also, um, I, do, I am going to start leaving my social medias in the end of the video. I do have a Discord as well that I'm trying to get off the ground. So if you are interested in getting into a Discord, chatting it up, seeing what's going on, telling me what you want to see on the channel or something, I'm going to leave a link down in the description below. Give it a click, join the Discord. But that's really all I got for you guys right now. Until next time, peace.